I recall, but losing to Bowser never feels good. Well, no, he actually played Lucas. Oh. <laughs> I was like, man. Well, I, Lucas can be frustrating at times as well. Uh, you know, like the low percent combos can really, like, get under your skin. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and move right into game number one here. Uh, wow, okay, so Corn for the first time today so, on stream. Looks like Jip could want to go Corn versus uh, j Bot Tony. Uh, hoping that maybe that, uh, ooh, he learned something from Yuga. There you go. Uh, a couple of weeks ago. Yes, sir. Now, the last time I seen this matchup um, was, I believe, the Big House 6 where Yuga played against Supergirl Kells in this exact same order. Um, I'm pretty sure Supergirl Kells beat him, but it was very, very close. It looked like Korn uh, kind of struggles, you know, certain aspects of this matchup. Uh, trying to catch up to Sonic. Uh, but I do believe a few weeks ago, uh, Yuga was able to take down 6WX at, uh, was it Outfoxed again? Yes, I'll box again. All right. But uh, in this match, it looks like Jibka is showing that uh, he is able to get a handle on Sonic, uh, trying to use those just the distance that he has uh, to keep Sonic out. Yeah, that being said, he has a pretty okay lead, but it's starting to get chopped away at here. Uh, J Box Prony, uh, you know, Sonic, he can speed up the uh, pace of any match, he can slow it down just like this. And that's some things that uh that's something that a lot of top players can't really deal with. That whip grab there, but he was still able to get the homing attack. Oh, here. Ooh. oh punish that counter attempt. Very nice. Got a grab. Uh, maybe didn't want to risk using the forward smash. It wasn't gonna kill that percent. All right, lands with that uh that falling there, right there, just like that. J Brock Pony gets him in the air. Now let's see if he can apply a little bit of pressure. I like that he's uh you know just like running in for uh punish Ooh, attempts. Okay. Just runs right up his shields. It's the back air on Corrin. Now to me that's pretty impressive because hitting Corrin while Corrin's using uh, the recovery is it's kinda hard. There are so many active hitboxes on that up B. Absolutely. Oh gosh. The up air almost killing Sonic here. Oh, spot dodge there on the grab attempt. Dancing around up there on that top platform. That's uh you're on thin ice. Oh, yeah. So J. Bar Pony realizing uh, what kind of situation he's in, seeing 107 damage. Jipka is zero. No way Jipka's going to die on that platform. So you just need to get that. This match first started fresh out the gate. They were definitely right in each other's grill, exchanging a lot in the neutral. But man, uh, it looks like J. Bar Pony just had to retreat a little bit. So you know what, man? I'm Sonic. I can run away with anything. No puns intended. Like, I can really like, dip out with this match. Jip is playing really smart here, has yet to be hit on his second stock. Uh, this is definitely some play that you need to see. Uh, a lot of players in this position, uh, what they would do is panic, run in, bake, uh, make bad decisions, hit shield, and get punished. But uh, that's definitely not what we're seeing here from Jipka, being very patient, wait for J-Bot Pony to make a mistake and get the kill. That was really, really good. Caught him slacking up there on that top platform. And something as simple uh, as just the neutral special is enough to do it. You don't normally see that move take stock very often, but when it does, man, it, it hurts. Forward smash. Oh, gosh. The spike right. coming through, but uh, able to make it back to the stage, Jipka was. Yeah, right presence of minor to throw that spike out, but just a little mistimed. And uh, I'll be honest, that uh, up special is just not the easiest move to deal with in the world on Korn's behalf. Oh, he was looking for another one. That's a move that kills pretty early, too, if you get that bite. Almost feels like Jipka's autopiloting just a little bit, throwing out a lot of that uh, instant pin. Back here, not yet gonna kill, but it gives Corn a ridiculous amount of rage to work with. Uh, back throw, not yet killing. Well, let's do it to make Corn stronger, and he reads that with an up smash. That was really, really good. Daybrock Prony. It's not enough just to play a fantastic Sonic, you know, and obviously we're playing like the fastest character on foot in the game, but um, you know, the reads, you have to bring the reads to the table. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. He's really avoiding and uh, just moving around Corn, despite Corn being so much longer than um, than Sonic physically. Yeah. You know, he just stay, he's staying a very comfortable distance away, and I really like that. <laughs> I like how uh, Josh and Lincoln were both making the same, like, hand movements <laughs> on their face back there. <laughs> All right. So Jibka. Uh, definitely in some deep thought right here, knowing that his life in pools is on the line here. Uh, elimination game for this man. And let's see if he decides to stay corn or go cloud. Three. Zelda. 
What? Yeah, I heard Zelda. Wait, what? Okay, so we got Zelda coming from uh, J Rock. Yeah, Zelda, a very uh, unconventional character, but you know, she's definitely had her time to shine. Um, I think like the person that comes to mind, but I'm pretty sure it's not the most notable. There was a player in Florida that beat Zaltis with uh, Zelda a few months back. So Zelda definitely has some tricks up her sleeve. It just depends on how you utilize this character and her tools. But you know, can't sleep in this game. We found that out the hard way, time and time again. You sleep on a quote unquote low tier character, and then you end up getting ninth or thirteenth at an international <laughs> event. You know sleep I mean? on an opponent, and you wake up next to a Connie of bed bugs. <laughs> okay, so uh, with Zelda, uh, Zelda's always been a character where people have fussed and said, man, she's horrible in neutral. Uh, she has some pretty solid follow-ups out of combos. I mean, that, that up air, that kills you pretty early. Devastating. Yeah. Definitely a devastating move. She also has uh, some uh, some tipper kicks. Uh, I believe uh, her forward air, her back air, and maybe even her down air uh, all are going to have a woo. Yeah, that spike spikes no matter what as well. So they've got to respect that off stage. Yeah, that's a sour spot. But uh, right now, Jibka is uh, definitely putting in good work on the Zelda, saying, man, uh, you should have stayed Sonic. Yeah, maybe he's feeling himself a little bit. Who knows? I mean, he has a game to throw. Though, one thing about uh, playing with that type of presence oh. of mind and throwing games is, you know, you don't want to give your opponent the idea that they can make it back. All right. And then uh, right there, we have uh, J. Brock Pony getting jousted into the blast zone uh, on his second stock here. Uh, looks like he... This man needs some help. Definitely needs some help. You definitely need Link to come and help Zelda right now. <laughs> Getting lapped right now. I mean, it's 2017. She don't need a man. <laughs> she don't need no man. She do better her own. Yeah, she, can, she, can do, she can do it all on her own. But uh, Corrin is definitely the one that is displaying that right now. Okay. Looking for the Air, down tilt. Into, down uh, tilt. Uh, yeah, Other definitely. Mirror. I like the combo attempt there by Zivka, looking for the like, down tilt and the forward air, but unfortunately ended up getting hit with that same combination himself on uh, J-Brock's behalf. Ooh, oh, all that's, right. That's so, yeah, yeah J-Brock, he was afraid of that up smash. He's doing, doing uh, a little too much. Tried to fast fall and grab ledge. Just did not happen for him. And I expect to see Sonic once again in the game. Yeah, he's just at this point. All right, I, I tried. I had a little fun, man, but let's let's get back to the money. Yeah, let's get back to the serious. Man, yeah, he went serious face real quick, too. <laughs> see, see, what he did was he realized that Jibaku was starting to download him towards the end of game one, so he went Zelda, so he would forget about all the info that he captured Let him know, that man. first game. Let him know. <laughs> <laughs> that actually is a pretty good strategy. You see someone starting to... Uh, adapt to some of the things, go ahead and switch characters, and uh, they have to readjust everything, especially if they're staying the same character. I mean, you know what they're trying to do. Yeah, give your opponent that false hope that they can run into the next match with the same mindset that they used to defeat you in the last match. That could definitely make all the difference. Survival. Right. Uh, it would be really nice if J-Brock could have won that. Okay, so, so it looks like Jimmy was going to go Cloud. Yeah, definitely heard to switch to Cloud here. Um, let's see what we get here for this game. See how well Sonic J Brock can move around uh, Cloud's disjoints. Yes. Uh, J Brock, uh, I believe, have to deal with the Cloud earlier. Ooh, with grab. Oh, got a little too Brazil's there with the up tilt. Uh, okay, punish. You know, not the best punish in the world, but oh, nice punish of minor not to finish the cross slash. Bad damage. Like it. Trying to space out with the aerials pretty smooth like here, but uh, you know, even with that being said, J Rock Pony with the life lead. J Rock just showing that uh, Sonic has the ability to deal with Cloud and that giant disjoint as long as you play very carefully. Uh -oh. Down throw. Okay, goes for four tilt that time. You know, he, Cloud doesn't have too many combos out of his scrolls. He has some ones that aren't really true. Yeah. They're just kind of character and weight specific. So you got to know uh, the right time to throw out some of those down throw into what could be like cross slash or uh, reverse forward tilt combos. Ooh, all right, try to get that forward smash. It looks like he got the auto cancel on that downer and was able to get out of the way just in time. Yeah, trying to sneak it in is slightly off the mark, though. Don't expect to see that a second time. Oh! 
Jibka down throw. Got the back air right after. That was actually a good read by Jibka, too. Understanding that J. Brock is going to run right up his shield and try to get a punish. Grabbed him right, right before he could get his grab out. Ooh, and that cross slash almost killing Sonic. Uh, luckily, he's a, a, a little bit on the, the heavier side. Yeah, Sonic has a, you know, a little bit of weight to him. Forward there, not able to punish that though. Uh, needs to regenerate his shield though. Uh, looks down small there. Yeah, limit is back online here. Okay. Back nice. There, poking at that shield. Yeah. You know, just kind of uh, taking a second to collect his thoughts up there. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, your cloud. That's kind of what you're known to do anyway, man. You get the platforms and you just start hanging around. Ooh. Went for the forward smash and then caught him slipping. Uh, once again, we see Jibka using Blade Beam to take a kill. Earlier when he was going against House of 3000 Dill, uh, he used Blade Beam to take the final stock in that first game. Now he did. All right. So uh, right now, Jibka is uh, looking in a position to make it out of pools here. Yeah, looking in prime positioning. If that, um, that's just saying, like, you know, J-Rock Crony can uh, adapt, you know, and try to bring things back. Because you can definitely do anything in this game. Alrighty. Nice. Trying to jump right in with Nair. Looking for an opening right now. Oh, but then eats up back, back here. Going to kill. All right, J-Brock Pony only taking 10% here. Uh, definitely something that he can do here. Well, fantastic. So a nice job there using the cross slash. Attacking on some very, very quick percent. Jay Down Brock throw. Tony, uh, dropping his shield there. Probably thinking that uh, he would stop doing the cross slash because he was blocking him. He's like, no, I'm just going to keep just keep hitting buttons, man. Can't even front, man. I definitely think Jay Brock was sleeping on Jibka. Uh, but, man, you know, sleep on somebody, man, they bring nightmares to reality. Okay. Dancing around each other yet again. J Brock Pony really trying to slow it down and go in in a more careful manner because he's kind of been coming in a, on the aggressive end of the spectrum, man. He's been getting punished. Ooh, all right, got that down air. Uh, we're expecting to see maybe a, a cross slash attempt right there after. All righty. Yeah, Staying back here, I like it. Keeps him up there on that top platform, but the platforms are disappearing. Got to get back onto the stage. That, uh, that down air once again to make sure he can land safely. It's another grab. Right now, J-Bark Pony needs to find a way to, to get in and uh, get some damage here on Jibka. Well, that's got to be scary uh, with 130 damage. Uh, he also has limit, so he needs to be careful with cross slash. Definitely have to be careful with cross slash. Auto cancel forward air. Haven't seen quite a, a lot of that uh, during, uh, during the entirety of this set. Uh oh. He's able to sneak in right under that sword. Ooh, all right. He's going to get hit by it. Okay, trying to bait him in. I like this a lot. The patience is coming out here. Let's see. Oh, gets the up throw. And I think right now, what J Brock Pony understands is that he's going against Cloud. And Cloud's not a character that is uh, known for being able to kill. Oh, uh, with grabs. So he feels really safe. Uh, just running in and shielding versus Cloud, knowing that he's not in danger of dying if he's grabbed. Ooh, that's that attack, dash attack is not, not going to do it. Killing, but that forward air was very dangerous that far off stage. He could have extended himself into the blast zone. Yes, sir. Immaculate DI there. The Ooh, turnaround cool. forward tilt. Still not quite enough to do it. j Brock Pony hanging on for dear life. And now he has to worry about this blue man again. Ooh. And that up air is going to kill Jibka. Uh, making it out of pools here at Combo Break in 2017. J Brock Pony probably going to be kicking himself in the butt for going Zelda, uh, game number two on Final Destination. Like I said, you know, you gave your opponent like that clear sighted victory, you know? Um, you put basically put 